Hello YouTube people, today I will show you this beautiful watch from Adidas Dive. I will show you how this watch looks like on my wrist, obviously, and also I will show you how this watch looks like with some custom straps. I will do quality check, loom check. Original bracelet on this watch is actually very good. It looks beautiful, absolutely wonderful. This is my favorite style of a bracelet. It looks so elegant, it looks luxurious, you know, it catches light from many different angles and really catches an eye. It, it looks wonderful, it looks simply wonderful. And speaking about the comfort, this is that type of a bracelet that usually has lots of side-to-side -side flexibility, as you can see, and it feels just great. It feels very, you know, organic on the wrist, it doesn't choke the wrist. There is some freedom, it, it has good flexibility, so it's it's very comfortable as far as a bracelet can be. And in terms of a finishing quality, uh, I can't tell you anything bad about this bracelet. I don't feel any sharpness. It's 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 well done bracelet, well done bracelet. It's not sharp whatsoever, it's, it's really well done, very well finished. And the fitment seems to be great and the flexibility between links also also very good flexibility so I, it's just you no know, nice thing to touch nice thing to have and just play around it's just <laughs> like some kind of you know fidget spinner you just can take this watch off your wrist and play with the bracelet it's 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 that nice it's a very good bracelet the clasp on this watch is simple yet very beautiful i really like this laser engraving it looks beautiful also very nice brushing very beautiful polished out edges well this clasp has few scratches because i have worn this watch a little bit so sorry about that but man just look at this thing it looks so good so good so it's beautiful milled clasp everything is fine except i wish it was a little bit soft around the edges you know it's it's not too bad it's not horrible but you know in some places i can actually scratch scratch my nail which is which 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 is not good especially outer shelf as beautiful as it is those edges those very corners i actually well pretty pretty sharp so you know i i might gonna finish off uh, the clasp edges if i'm gonna keep this watch but you know, I just wish it was a little bit softer around edges, but you know, for the given price, I don't really, <laughs> I don't want to complain too much. I'm just doing my duty, telling you how things are. So anyway, the clasp is actually very good. You know, it locks in place very nicely, has multiple micro adjustments, as you can see, and I like this style of opening it's very very easy to open and close it it's like like that the watch is on my wrist crown is a little bit small you know uh, my fingers aren't big my wrist aren't big but even i struggle a little bit operating this crown i just wish it was just a, a little bit larger just a little bit larger for the convenience that's it but it, it looks good it looks nice i mean Nice, nice is <laughs> too simple of a word to describe this watch. This watch is so beautiful. It's, it's, you know, I was thinking, should I name this uh, video as the most beautiful Adidas Dye watch? Well, I'm not sure. There are some very, very beautiful Adidas Dye watches as well that are currently waiting in line for a review. And I, I seriously don't know which one I would put a, in the first place as the most beautiful. I, I, I couldn't. I couldn't. They are equally as beautiful. So this is one of the most beautiful watches from Adidas Dive and overall, in my opinion. I mean, just look at this thing. It's, it's hypnotizing. You know, right now I'm looking at the camera screen, uh, looking like at a mirror, you know, because camera is in front of me. <laughs> And I myself, I feel hypnotized looking at this watch. I mean, my gosh, this this thing looks just so good, spectacular. I mean, wow. I I know this watch is a homage of a Seiko Tic Tac, but I checked out pictures of that Seiko and specifications and everything, 
And you know what? I would actually go for Adder's Dive. <laughs> Funny enough, because Adder's Dive is a little bit smaller. And I don't like that uh, Seiko Tic Tac has crown guards. I think this watch looks a lot more elegant without crown guards. So generally, I actually prefer the look of this watch over the original. So you could say, you know, this is good improvement over the original watch, at least in my eyes, you know, just from my personal perspective. I don't want to really measure this watch in front of the camera because I do find that part of the video to be boring. I don't understand why you want to watch how someone measures the watch in front of the camera. So let me tell you that I have measured this watch myself and you can find all the measurements in the description. And the crystal on this watch, by the way, the crystal is not sapphire, but I have a suspicion that this watch looks so good because of mineral crystal, because mineral crystal has a little bit better clarity than sapphire crystal. So my suspicion is that part of the looks, why this, look, why this watch looks so strikingly good is because it's a mineral crystal because it has such a good clarity. Uh, it's, you know, I haven't, I haven't really seen sapphire crystal to be this clear. So, so it's probably, you know, I have to give some credit to mineral crystal for, for the looks, you know, it's, it's not some kind of a watch that I would beat around working in a garage on bicycles and such. It's, it's more of a, you know, casual dressy style watch. Uh, it, it's something, it's something that I want to take care of a little bit, you know, I don't want to beat it around as, as any other my daily watch, it's just too beautiful, I mean, just, my gosh, my gosh, just, I'm looking at the camera screen right now, <laughs> and, uh, and I'm a little bit hypnotized by the beauty of this watch, it looks incredible. You know, I mentioned you that uh, I thought about naming this video as the best looking Adidas I watch, but I'm not doing that because I couldn't decide between these three watches which one actually is the best looking one because they all look so good that it would be just impossible to decide between these three watches. So you know what, let's just have some fun. Let me show you all three watches right now because because why not? Because I can, because I have them all <laughs> at the same time right now and I just... I'm so amazed by all these three watches, how pretty they are, how beautiful is that? Uh, <laughs> I'm lack for words, you know, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. These three watches are just so spectacularly beautiful that, I, I, wow, 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 okay. Black one, this is a yellow one. This one looks a little bit dressier, in my opinion, than other, 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 watches in in this comparison because of the color i don't know it's just you know such such as such is my opinion so let me you know let's let's just have some fun let's not rush let's let's take a better look let's enjoy the the, the view <laughs> because i do really enjoy what i'm currently seeing at the camera screen <laughs> hypnotizingly beautiful Insane. This this watch is is beautiful to the point. It's just insane. As they all, as they all are. This one as well. Let's let's put this one on my wrist as well. Well, this one already has like million of reviews on YouTube, so you know you already know this watch very very well. But you know, I I just I just want to have some fun. <laughs> let's just play the watches. Let's just play the watches. I mean. Wow. <laughs> the only thing I can tell you is that, wow, <laughs> you know, it looks so good. Tell me in the comments, which one would you pick in terms of the looks? You know, specifications are a little bit different because this, this one, this one is automatic, automatic, uh, okay, and has mineral crystal. This one is quartz with sweeping seconds hand and has also has mineral crystal. Uh, this one has the same quartz movement as this one, also with sweeping seconds hand, except this one has sapphire crystal. And if I would personally would have to choose specifications, I would go for this watch, because for me, 
quartz is always better than automatic, you know, just personal preference, especially when this quartz has sweeping seconds hand. And on top of all that, this one has sapphire crystal. But speaking about the beauty, I, I couldn't pick. I just, I simply, I couldn't pick. Impossible. I couldn't pick be between these three watches. They are so, so pretty. All three of them are so pretty. It's impossible to pick. Simply impossible. <laughs> so, you know what? Once again, once again, you know, I'm just having fun, you know. Let's, let's, let's have some, some more fun. <laughs> so this one looks like that. Okay. <laughs> like that. I mean, it looks spectacular. That's how it looks like. Let's move on. Another one. Let's try another one. <laughs> this one. How do how do you like this one? <laughs> Tell me in the comments which one you you think is the prettiest one. You know, look, sapphire crystal. It does blow out a little bit. Sapphire crystal. It doesn't. It just doesn't have that good of a clarity. Even though this watch has very good anti-reflective coating. It still blow, blows out a little bit in front of a direct light like, like that. Now let's try another one, which also has bright dial, but it has mineral crystal. So let's see if there is any difference in... Well, I don't know, on camera it, they both look like, like they blow out very much, but this, you know, at least from theoretical standpoint, this is mineral crystal, so it should be a little bit... Uh, it should have a little bit better clarity. I'm still not convinced, you know, I'm, I'm still not sure, you know, let's put uh, them next to each other. So the, the yellow one is sapphire crystal. The white one is mineral. From theory, mineral crystal should have a little bit better clarity. Does it though? You know, uh, I, I'm not showing in comparison this black one because, well, black dial obviously looks different. But these two have bright dial, the same shape of sapphire crystal, the same, the same looking bluish anti-reflective coating, except the yellow one is sapphire and the white one is mineral. So is mineral with a better clarity? That's the question that I cannot give you an answer for for sure. No, I'm, I'm not convinced. I'm, 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 not, I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe a little bit. Maybe that's why this black with mineral looks so good. I'm just, I'm just guessing. I don't know. Let's start with something crazy. A nylon strap, which is pink. <laughs> Not many people would wear it like that. Uh, I probably sometimes, why not, if I have right mood for, for such a look, why not? But basically, the, the main reason why I'm showing this crazy combination is just because it looks interesting. <laughs> it just looks interesting in, in, in camera. All the straps that I'm about to show you, you can find them on my website, thomaswatchreviews.com. Uh, in the menu section called straps. I'm not selling them like it's not an e-shop. Uh, you will find just affiliate links to Aliexpress where I bought them from. This is the same strap, just different color. This is gray. It has slight tint of green, I believe, but difficult to tell. It's, you know what, it looks really good on this watch. It's the Nylon straps, looks surprisingly good on this watch. Or should I say in reverse, this watch looks surprisingly good on nylon straps. I don't know, maybe it's, you know, it's a winter style watch, so it probably looks like period correct, probably. How does it look like on this one? I, I think colors match very well. Those beige colors on hands and indexes together with this grayish nylon strap that's nice. This this is, you know, this is that type of a watch. You can put anything you want on this watch. It's still going to look great. This is vintage style leather strap with those white stitches. It has holes. It is very dark green leather strap. It feels good. Rather flexible. It was pretty cheap. I don't quite remember, but I probably paid like six euros for this strap. 
it feels great and looks very very cool on such a you know vintage style watch vintage style leather strap on a vintage style watch man this watch looks so spectacularly good even in this you know direct light the blown out crystal it's just oh my god i'm so amazed by this watch so amazed amazing this one should look very good on this watch this is suede leather strap very good strap by the way it wasn't uh, expensive it's, it was probably around 10 euros and the inside of the strap feels wonderful soft and the strap itself is flexible and it looks so good on this watch also those stitches are not white they are a little bit beige as indexes and hands on this watch it matches so nicely wow and this lighting it's a little bit contrasty so you might not gonna see colors very well this is very dark uh, brown strap I, f I think it looks wonderful on this watch this is so called tropical strap tropical silicon strap but this is good kind of silicon because it feels uh, you know it's very soft but it's not sticky so this is good quality silicon strap and I think this green color looks great on this watch this green color is a little bit muted it's it's a little bit desaturated it visually fits this watch really nicely and this strap is so comfortable you know it's it's just great look it's so nice this setup when i'm just sitting in front of the camera and trying out different straps not only it's it's you know it's it's very fun for me to try out this watch on different straps i'm just having fun <laughs> but also it's very easy for me it's very easy to edit this kind of video very easy to film so you know what let's try some more straps I, originally you know initially i thought i just gonna try five straps but it's so easy for me to do, to do this kind of a video that you know let's try some more <laughs> you know this leather looks like some kind of old cowboy boots or, or a hat i don't know but it gives off that you know western cowboy vibe of some kind i don't know it's just very gives off very cool vintage vibe and i think it fits this watch just so nicely it looks so interesting it's like it looks aged it looks so good on this watch hmm nice very nice this is elastic nylon strap and it's military green with this yellow stripe in the middle it looks it looks all right with this watch it looks correct you know <laughs> you could say it looks period correct of some of some kind i don't know it's just it looks good make it look good very nice beautiful watch this is gray leather strap with holes it has a little bit of thickness and gray color fits most watches i believe almost all watches you know it's it's neutral color so of course it's gonna look good of course it does look good it, it, it looks cool you know it's just gives off some kind of a cool vibe hmm. okay this is the last one this is just a simple shiny leather strap and that's how this watch looks like on simple shiny leather strap i hope you can see well I, i'm just trying out this uh, background it's a little bit you know when it's too bright it could get a little bit too contrasted so i'm still not sure about the outcome and and because of that also because it's so simple it's so fun yeah <laughs> okay this is the last strap that's that's enough i believe this watch looks wonderful on any kind of strap this is the accuracy of this watch uh, laying face down it runs plus 30 seconds and beat error looks to be about 0 0.2 seconds now let's try again but face up
well at least there isn't much difference uh, between face up and face down so this watch should be very easy to adjust the alignment of hands seems to be perfect okay 15 minutes till midnight Come on, add this dive right now would be, oh, nice. So it flips the date basically almost on midnight. Very nice. And I didn't show you how the case back of this watch looks like. So take a look. Nice add this dive engraving. And since I'm showing you a little bit different setup right now. So let's take, let's take, you know, a better look at this watch. Very beautiful engraving on the crown does look very nice actually let's do a little loom comparison and all watches that you see here have printed on indexes even this san martin has printed on indexes so we're gonna see how they compare another watch is this adds the pilot style watch okay and this Adidas dive Hamilton homage and the one that you already seen so well initial loom looks okay it's it's definitely not as strong as other three but it's there it has some loom definitely now wow look at this one that looks nice it, look, it has very nice loom hmm this one as well looks very good the san martin yeah as for a as for a blue loom it's actually pretty bright pretty bright and this one is <laughs> i would say it has already faded out the final verdict where i'm going to place this watch on my website thomaswatchreviews.com we rate watches into different tier lists i'm going to place this watch into keepers i think this is wonderful watch it looks incredible case finishing is nice bracelet is very well done very good bracelet clasp it has some sharp edges but it's very nicely done you just need to finish off a little bit those sharp edges uh crown is a little bit small but catch a threading very nicely screws in and out no problem alignment is good flips the date basically on midnight um it has mineral crystal but it's nice it has very good anti-reflective coating and it runs plus 30 seconds face up and face down but beat error seems fine and it shouldn't be difficult to adjust so overall considering the price of this watch i think this watch is simply unbelievable unbelievable watch and it has 100 meters of water resistance haven't mentioned that yet so yes i do recommend buying this watch very strong recommendation wonderful wonderful watch thanks for watching bye